Back to working on the Turbo 460. Going to be installing the uh, intake manifold today. I already have the valve covers torqued down, but I previously installed the new roller rockers, the Scorpion rockers, uh, push rods, all that stuff's dialed now. So going to be putting this intake manifold on and sealing her up. She's getting closer. Have the block all painted up. It's looking nice. Valve covers are on. I'm going to run a PCV valve off of a turbo four cylinder Ford, like one of the old 2.3 liter guys, I believe. Um, but it's designed for boost and it does a little bit better, a uh, little bit stronger. So we'll be dropping this intake manifold here. I got to lay my silicone down. I'm not going to be using those rubber uh, China wall gaskets. I'm just going to do silicone on the whole thing. Hey, it's the next day. Um, I, I ended that last clip off with uh, talking about putting the intake manifold on. I put it on uh, and then got everything torqued down and was letting everything set up when I realized that I hadn't made a video yet showing off these cylinder heads um, and the, the port work that's been done on these from Scotty the Mad Porter guy. So uh, I'm going to sacrifice my intake manifold gaskets. I'm going to redo this. I'm going to pop this guy off and just give you guys a view of inside the, the intake ports and exhaust ports, uh, at least so you can see kind of what he did. But uh, I'll show that in the video here, but it's going to be gasket match. So here's the uh, cylinder heads. I uh, pulled this valve cover off so you guys can get a look in there. Um, and... Here's the intake. There's still a little machinist die in there. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Um, so the the intake ports have been ported. He calls it pocket ported. Um, essentially gasket matched. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but this area here has been opened up a fair amount. Um, and then on the exhaust sides, see where it's smooth here. That's been opened up. I'm not a head porter, so I don't really know a whole lot, but these uh, flow a fair amount more than the factory heads. Um, but Scotty's website would give you more information. I mean, I they've been ported. That's about all I can say. They, they do flow more, and they have bigger valves in them. I can throw the specs up on <clears throat> the screen here. I'm not the happiest with the heads because I had to rebuild them after 10,000 miles, but they definitely make more power. Here's what the gaskets, I just laid them down here. Um, still, I, I had to pull the intake manifold. I, I had RTV'd this up, so it's just kind of dirty now. I got to clean up some of this um, lint in here and blow it out with the air gun, um, wipe it all down with brake clean, make sure I can get another good seal. But I wanted to show you guys this because I, I said I would and I'd rather do it now than when the engine's installed. Uh, the intake manifold has also been ported. Um, this is another one of Scott's products here. I got the bench seat out of my truck to sit in here so I could weld up the back, the back of it. Um, but these intake ports have been worked on. Uh, they're opened up and I mean, they're smooth. I don't know how much he's taken off. I don't have a factory. Uh, I just I do have a factory manifold in the in the garage, but I don't have any factory heads to compare it to. So it's hard to see on camera, but uh, in person you can see where they've been ground on and cleaned up uh, and opened up quite a bit. But I think he just gats it, matches the up the cylinder head and the intake manifold, and then does a pocket port job on around the guides on the exhaust in the intake I need a better camera to make these videos but he spends some time on them for sure and they make power I'm just not happy about the way they wore He had mentioned that he got a bad set of valve guides at one point. Kind of makes me wonder if that was my problem. It was just a faulty valve guide. Not necessarily Scott's fault. Just a bad set of guides. Alright guys, I got the intake manifold back installed. 
Uh, I'm beat. It's about midnight. I'm heading. I'm gonna end it here. Uh, I did run my bore scope in each cylinder to make sure I had proper gasket alignment, uh, and my silicone wasn't splooging out in there all over the place. So everything's good to go. See you next time.